Hey everybody, Dr. Paul Singh here describing a case where we're combining an omni viscodilation procedure with hydrus microstent implantation along with cataract surgery. Making sure I have a good view, nice focus on the trabecular metric and other angle structures, probably the most important part of any mix procedure. Now here with the new omni next generation device with that ergonomic tip there, making a small nick in the TM and pointing about a 45 degree angle towards the trabecular mesh work, advancing the wheel, which releases the blue thread into Schlem's canal. Once the wheel stops, I'm 180 degrees into Schlem's canal, reversing it as I release viscoelastic to flush out the Schlem's canal and the distal channels. Now I'm taking the hydrus microstent loader, which looks very similar, and advancing the microstent into the same area. It really slips in like butter, beautiful. And now we see a nice inlet there in the AC. I thought it was a little bit long, so what I went ahead and used my same hydrus loader and just nudged it towards into Schlem's canal a little bit more to make sure I had about half of the inlet into the Schlem's canal and half into the AC, parallel to the TM and away from the iris and the cornea. Now I'm removing viscoelastic with my automated INA and really completing the cataract surgery as routine. I think what's important at the end of these cases is to make sure you hydrate those wounds, hydrate the main wound, but I also like to hydrate that secondary wound that we created for the hydrus and the Omni device as well. And I think at the end of the case, I like to overinflate it and then slowly burp the wound to make sure there's no reflux of blood and to burp it to make sure that we have physiologic pressure. And we are now done with the case. Please email me anytime if you have any comments or questions. Thanks a lot.